Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Shovel Knight. We are going into the, um, the whale. It's a submarine, and this is going to be interesting. So that's introducing you to the bubbles. Also, water physics are a thing. And then the other cool thing about this stage are my little friends here. Because if I hit them just right, they go absolutely bonkers. Unfortunately, I didn't hit any of those just right. That's all right. We'll see some uh, some of the fun of them in a second. Fortunately, they don't hurt me whenever I'm the one who launches them. And this is the funniest part: is fishing underwater. Oh my god. I really wish that they were the money ones. Oh yes, as you remember, I whenever I upgraded my shovel, I got the ability to dig up those dirt piles in one fell swoop. Nice and easy. So those ones are metal crabs. They're immune to any damage. That's fine, because I don't have to actually hurt them to get through. It does kind of spoil my fun with the whole um, bouncing shells around, though. The other nice thing about those guys is that whenever I see them later, I can use them to uh, okay, dude, stop. Got him. Yeah, like I said, even if I don't deal damage, as long as I get a bounce off with my shovel... Oh, hello. I should have the phase lock it ready, because I have a feeling that that's going to happen a lot. As long as I get the bounce with my shovel... I can um, benefit from the two bounce rule. I think I can even get a charge on that. Yes, I can. Oops. Forgot that they were immune to damage. Okay, I didn't fall. That's good. Okay, so there's two ways to approach this. The right way and the wrong way. This is the wrong way. It intends for you to bounce across those guys, but I didn't feel like waiting for them to cycle back around. Now let's see if I can fish. And get a fish that actually matters to me. I'm too far in front of the shiny spot, aren't I? So, this is funny. Since I'm actually underwater, the fish can swim. And once again, what's funny is the fact that I didn't actually collect that fish. Wait, that's not funny, that's sad. Okay. So yeah, underwater physics. Oh no! No, no, no! I'm trying to control my jumps. <laughs> and it's very hard to control your jumps whenever... Well, I'm afraid of over-jumping in that area. Which is one of the reasons why I had the, um... The item equipped that I did. The phase locket. And then I just refuse to actually use the darn thing. Can you let me out? I'm not going to fight the same guy twice because they don't drop more, um, more, uh, gold or whatever the second time. Or gems or whatever you want to call it. And see, I'm already back to the first place I, in the place I died. Okay. Okay. So like I said... Okay, hold on. Eel. Got him. Okay, like I said, the other advantage of the fishing rod is that it lets me reel in my gold. 
which is very nice here because I don't want to go I'm stupid no 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 okay ah uh, not this guy I hate this guy he's like so buggy and weird I forgot about water physics I was here I was worried that he would break all those things shouldn't have been because I can jump a lot higher underwater I really hate eels I don't think they have the ability well I know they don't have the ability to be electrified but what's mostly annoying about them is that they have the ability to be completely invisible That's the secret way. I'm gonna go get this secret first, because there might be some wall chicken. Nope, just a wall apple. Okay, so on the way down, I'm able to use the bubbles. And on the way up, I have to use these little guys. I'm not entirely sure what those things think they are, if they're like tentacles of an octopus. But they aren't, because they're outside of the water. And my flashing there means that I am um, ready to um, perform my special attack. I don't know if you've noticed that from when I was really going to be like that. So whenever I charge my, charge my special, or whenever I um, get my special from uh, bouncing up and down a lot, Either way, same thing happens. Got him. Ouch. Still knocking out every single one. Even though it doesn't seem advisable, because I'm probably going to die again. Ooh, treasure. No treasure. See, I don't like how the music doesn't change here. Whoop, hello. Let's just use that to get... Uh, stupid auto-scrollers. Okay, now we get to fight. I mean, this is my only complaint about the game, is that it doesn't... give you a, a music change for mini-bosses. Because, I mean, clearly the damage is... Or clearly the game is more intense now. Dude. The fit Eels alive! I haven't had a ride like that in ages. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to drop another great deal on you. Wanna see? Throwing anchor. An arc of destruction. There's some bonuses for hitting multiple enemies with that that um, anchor. Of course, I've gotten it already. Because there's actually a spot. I don't think it comes up in this part. But there's a spot where it's basically impossible to miss. <sighs> okay, look. Impossible to miss the... Um, You know it? Now it's a perfect time to demonstrate the power of the anchor. There's my music sheet. And then this is an early introduction to this. Torpedo away! Okay, I need to fish first, though. Yeah, this stage... Is, th these games are really fun. Um, uh, dude come over here. Thank you. Anytime they, um, indie, indie uh, developers make an homage to a... Can I throw those? No, I can't. 
to a um, old style of game, they always do great at it. Yeah, totally the cheat way to do that, but that's alright. Oops. Anyway, I'm Music Kev, and this has been Shovel Knight. Next time, we ride torpedoes. See you then.